welcome one and all to our next episode of Rumination. Today, let's talk about a thing that is really strong and really absorbent. Now, remember you dirty-minded bastards, this item is for your home. Now, can you please clarify what this item is? It's paper towels. Wow, Ooh. I would say so. Yes, paper towels. Did you know the history about that? No, please tell me because paper towels are paper towels for me. It's no, it has no historical significance for me, probably. Well, interesting fact is that this product was originally designed for medical hygiene and it just ended up becoming a household essential with completely different purpose. Ooh. What do we need to know about paper towels? I'm not a, I'm not a big professional in this mm -hmm. area, but I can say to you that if you are using a paper towel, that means you're not a heretic yet. But there are some things you need to take into consideration when you are buying yourself some paper towel. Because you need to think about, for example, like the level of, of absorbance that the paper can absorb. How, I mean, how much the paper can absorb. Now then, there's a bit difference between a single ply and a multiply options of these towels. So you, you, because the multiply towels are more stronger, of course, and yeah, the single ply are a bit weaker, but yeah. Okay, never mind. Now, next thing, the texture. Now, there's also the importance when it comes to these towels that the texture, uh, that what what kind of texture the paper towel has because it can affect the cleaning capabilities of the towel. Now, usage variations. Uh, when it comes to paper towels, they have versatile uses beyond, beyond, beyond just cleaning spills. They're used for wiping surfaces, drying hands, covering food in the microwave and many more now it's not teleshopping so we go further like the environmental impact the because the disposability of paper towels can contribute to waste because we know this and we are very environmentally cautious still now consider using reusable cloth towels for instance if you need if you must but if you can but if you must of course use a paper towel we know you're not an animal we know you need to use it but if you're an animal still just consider the environmental impact okay be a dear now there are also the recycled option because there are some paper towels that are made from recycled materials and that means they reduce the environmental impact. So if you can be a dear and try to find these paper towers. Tow towers, yes. Did you know that the Tower of London is made from paper towels? Neither did I and that's a lie. Okay, now mm -hmm. to the next point. Strength and durability. Because not all paper towels are equally strong, and we already mentioned this. So, now, lint and dust, of course, this is important because cheaper or lower quality towels might leave a lint or dust behind when you are using it. For example, cleaning. And you don't want that because, yeah, it's... It's not good for you, it's not good for the surface you're cleaning and you should probably use a better option. Now, 
be aware of compatibility with cleaning solutions because some towels some paper towels might probably break down or be less effective when using with certain cleaning solutions so just Check out the uh, manufacturer's recommendations, okay? Now, where should you most likely store these paper towels? Well, let's be honest, it should be dry and probably cool with no moisture, of course, because it might affect the quality, their quality. Now, emergency uses. Of course, even if they are paper towels and they are mostly used in the kitchen, uh, they can be used as bandaging for wounds, improvising, improvising, or even in some cases, when you're a pyromaniac, if you're a pyromaniac, you can use it to start a fire. But a controlled fire, okay? Don't be a pyromaniac, okay? We won't take responsibility for your action. Now, you need to also remember that while paper towels are convenient, they are also disposable, disposable, which can contribute to waste, as we already mentioned. So... To be more environmentally conscious, consider using them wisely because you are a wise person. If you are not, you know you're an idiot, okay? Mm -hmm. As am I sometimes, but never mind that. After this speech, I know you are probably speechless, but never mind that. How did you know? Do... Uh, yeah, because... I know these things, okay? I can feel them, even from far, far away. Now, do you use paper towels or not? Not really, no. Why? Because I'm using kitchen towels and that's easier, you know, um, thing. Not that it's easier for using, but like when when I use it, even for spills or... Depends in, depending on what it is I need to clean, but if it's something in the kitchen, on the surface, like on a desk or on a, on a table or somewhere in the kitchen, which is not floor, then I use that and then I just wash it. Oh my goodness. You're a feral animal. Mm, yeah, so there are, you know, there are differences. If it's just water or something... Like that, it's the best option, I think. Well, that's what I'm using. That's um, my experience. Uh, when it's something uh, really like dirty, oily, then I just use a sponge. I clean it with that sponge and with detergent. And then to make the servers dry again, I just use the kitchen towel and that's it. And I don't need any paper towels. Okay, that's that's your option, how to survive, how to live your life. Exactly. I'm not taking it from you. You don't have to. Yeah, I know. So, if you are so curious about me using them, are you using them and how? Okay, okay. But ha! You didn't get me there. I'm using them. And I know them, personally. But not by names, because I don't name every single part, every single piece of the towel. I mean, the paper towel, but... Just some of them. Yes, <laughs> we are one big family. Ha, 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 sister with me. Yeah, but never mind. Okay, yeah, so I'm happy we are one big family. Now, uh, I can imagine one instance when I'm really using a paper towel, and that is... Below my plate, when I'm feeling a bit lazy and I don't want to wash the table, I'm gonna put a paper towel under the plate from which I'm eating. And if it's 
for some reason if the tap 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 and if the plate gets for some reason a bit wet or something dirty is from the bottom of the plate then I don't need to be afraid that it will leave something on the table because the paper towel will absorb it okay and I can probably in many instances reuse the paper towel for a few times and this is how I most likely use paper towel uh, the, the most of all I use paper towels for this specific reason and I mean it's uh, of course for this for some spills if I spill on the ground or something like that I'm gonna use a paper towel because other because I already mentioned that I'm lazy and the paper towels are right there and I can hear them screaming at me like Yo, dog users, and you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna use them because I use things, okay? I'm a user, don't judge me. This was very interesting, very, very interesting topic and the story. Thank you for listening to this and let us know what you think in the comments. We would love to hear your stories with paper towels and like, subscribe and share with your friends. And until next time, bye.